there is some sentiment across the country uh, that uh, the government should do everything. Uh, I'm not of that ilk. In 2008, when we came into office, they were projecting a shortfall of about $150 million heading into 2012. But we also uh, found a, a lot of waste, frankly. If people were missing a trash cart or did not have a trash cart, generally speaking, it would take, you're going to have a hard time with this, I know, it would take about 150 days to get that trash cart. 20% plus of the phone calls were being dropped. On, I mean, I could go on and on about all that stuff. It's kind of funny because I remember driving uh, in early 2008 over the roads of Indianapolis and I was just the mayor a few months and I said, boy, these roads are just not good. My public works department estimated that we were at least a billion dollars behind on infrastructure in the city uh, just to get it to a fair or good condition. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, I said, find me my toll road. And uh, to, to people in Indiana, everybody knows what the toll road is. Situation where Governor Daniels was very uh, creative and, and uh, got four million, four billion dollars in the bank rather quickly for his what is called the major moves program in the, in the state of Indiana. The city owned the water company, which is uh, they did not own it until 2002. It was privately owned until 2002 when the city bought it. Now, without going into the merits of that transaction, I'll just say that the city owned it, uh, bought it for 500 and some million dollars. Uh, when I came into office. It was in debt, 900 plus million dollars. We put out what we called a request for an expression of interest and we got 24 replies. Uh, the most curious one being from citizens who already has three utilities in the, in the city of Indianapolis or in the region. And they were looking at the taking over the water and the wastewater uh, combined from us. And we were able to work out the deal with Citizens Energy to put the water and the wastewater in there. Now, when they, they took on a billion and a half of debt but the assets were worth 1.9. So we wind up with $425 million cash. But in the last uh, two years, we probably put $250 million into our roads, sidewalks, bridges, and alleys, and taken down abandoned homes, and it hadn't cost the taxpayer a dime. In fact, as a result of that deal, not only do we, and this is very important to me, I can't overemphasize this, we took politics out of water and wastewater. Anybody who's been a city government knows there's a lot of politics in water and wastewater. There won't be any more. I could give you a list. I mean, it's just amazing. Solid waste pickup. I mean, we saved a million dollars in just that because we were having trucks all over the city picking up every day. Well, somebody came up with the idea of, pretty simple idea really, why don't we, in this quadrant of the city, why don't we pick it up on Monday, in this quadrant, on Tuesday. So that if their trucks break down, which they always do, then you have a truck in the nearby area, it doesn't have to travel 30 miles to get there. I've got great technology now in my parking meters. I've got 20 million cash. And as I tell people, I don't have salary, I don't have pensions, I don't have infrastructure costs, I don't have maintenance costs, I don't have insurance costs, I just take the money. Now we've got less than 1% of the calls being dropped. The average phone is answered in less than 10 seconds used to be answered in about two minutes. And we let people go online uh, to put in their request to fix weeds or fix the pothole or whatever. And then we also just very, very recently went to an app uh, for the iPhone and the iPad where they can take a picture of the pothole or the weeds or whatever and zap it over to us immediately. And in most instances, we actually call the people back and say, is this fixed? We took a, an iconic baseball field which has been empty for 15 years and is really, when I say iconic, it was becoming more of an eyesore. And, and they're, they're turning it into uh, really apartments in there which are going to be dramatic. Public safety and criminal justice, that complex combined is about 80 to 85 percent of our budget. Uh, we've asked other people to be efficient but now we're going to ask public safety to be efficient. We have to ask who does what, why are you doing that? because there's so many vested interests that have grown up over the years and uh, somebody comes up to me and says, that's the way we've always done it. That's when my antenna goes up. I think people should try to partner with people and even people who might make a buck or two. It's all okay because if the city benefits, if the citizens benefit, I think we should go in that direction. I, I really do.